Well, like Channel One. But brother, from the Phoenix camp, that being said, we want to give all honor, glory, praise to the Allah, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Rakhadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutation to you, brothers out there doing this work in truth, sincerity, man. And the, the spirit is going to get us together today, man, to uh, to do this work, man, to do this sit down. I mean, we're going to get into is, uh, we're going to get into how the Most High hates you, so-called white people, you Edomites, man, or uh, you Amicai, you so-called Jews. You know, he has a hatred for you. He has a hatred for you because you are the wicked, man. And the scriptures say the Lord hates the wicked every day. You know, because uh, the scriptures prove that you are the wicked of the earth, man. The scriptures prove of your downfall. The, the scriptures prophesy of who you are. And all you got to do is, is use simple uh, reasoning and deduction, and, you, and you'll find out that the Edomites, the Amalekites, is talking about you so called white people, man. You got a scripture, brother? This is the book of Ezekiel 35. Yeah. It says, Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against thee. So it's commanded, and it's commanded to the watchmen of the Lord to, to prophesy against the devil, man, to prophesy against you Edomites, to set our face against Mount Seir, which is, which, you know, basically talking about you know, Edomites, Esau, Edom, man. You know, so this is a commandment by the Lord for us to do this, man. And these other camps, uh, what was the IUIC thing a few months ago? Or, they had a band that, that their camps couldn't speak against Esau no more, man. I mean, but the scriptures clearly say that we are commanded to prophesy against it. Keep on going, brother. It says, and say unto it, thus saith the how thy power. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. God, so we're supposed we're supposed to go out there and prophesy the downfall of America. We're supposed to go out there and prophesy the 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 enslavement of you of you Edomites and the, the destruction of you Edomites the Lord's gonna bring. We're supposed to go out there and prophesy against you so-called white people, man. That's what the scriptures tell us to do. If you're a man of the Lord, and the Lord's and the Lord's working with you and, and dealing with you, then he's gonna put in your spirit to do that, man. Because this is what commanded us by, by the scriptures to do. And and what does the scripture say, man? He that doeth the will of the Father is the same as my brother, man. You know, so we we call ourselves men of the Lord, and that's what we have to do. We have to prophesy against Mount Seir, man. We gotta set our face against it, man. We have to be contrary to this to the devil to the devil system. Brother Bessel? I just want to say too, you know, because those are our main enemies, man. You know, because the scriptures so also talk about that the, the nation of Israel should always be at war with the nation of Amalek, with mm -hmm. the Amalekites. We could bring that out too, you know. But yeah. you know, um, that those are the. The, the children, you know, that the Most High has created to, to be against us, man. So we have to be against them also. You know, we have to be constantly prophesying against their society and their kingdom, man, because the rulers of this kingdom are the Edomites, which are the so-called white man, man. You know, so the whole kingdom is set up on wickedness, on, on everything that goes contrary to the scriptures, man. So we're set up as a defense of the gospel. So we're, we're, we're supposed to um, tell the people that how these people are ruling, man, it's wickedness. It goes contrary to the heavenly power, and, and, and we have to condemn them by saying that, hey, man, judgment is coming for this place, that the Most High is getting ready to, to unleash hell on this place, man, and, 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 and deliver the children of Israel out of this fucking place, man, out of the captivity of the Edomites, the last captivity that the, that the nation of Israel is going to go through, man, which is also the worst captivity that we're going through right now, man, you know? God, oh, man, don't know. so we are, we are commanded to, to go and prophesy and tell you Edomites your judgment, man. And ultimately, your judgment is going to be slavery and, and extinction. That's what the scriptures say. You mean that numbers? Numbers 16. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Numbers 24, 16. I'll start on 18. 18? Yeah. And Edom shall, sorry, and Edom shall be, shall be a, a possession. And Edom shall be a possession. Edom meaning, Edom meaning you so called white people shall be a possession to who? To the nation of Israel, man. You know, if you read in the, uh, uh, I think it's Psalms, the, the was it the first, the second chapter? I forgot which one, but it says, uh, "I'll give you the heathen for an inheritance, man." It's the second. Yeah, it's for basically as as slaves. You know, so the scripture says in Numbers uh, twenty four eighteen that Edom shall be a possession, a possession to who? A possession to to the nation of Israel as slaves, man. Keep on going. Seir also shall be a possession for Seir. And Seir also is another word uh, to mean uh, the Edomites, man. That's why we, we say uh, prophesy against Mount Seir. We're talking about prophesy against you so called white people. Keep on going. For his enemies, and Israel shall do faith. Valiantly. Valiantly. 
So Israel shall do valid me, meaning you so-called blacks and teams of Native Americans. We are gonna we are gonna have you so-called white people under subjection, under our rule, under our authority. You will be our possession, you will be our slaves, you will do our bidding, you will build our kingdom. You know, you will you will you will uh go under torturous uh extreme captivity, man, under 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 the so-called black and teams of Native Americans, as prophesied by the scriptures. Because what does the scripture say in Revelation, man? He that leads us into captivity shall be led into captivity. You know, and, 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 the, and the Lord said that he's going to give us vengeance on our, on our enemies. And the brother just brought out, man, the, the, our main enemy, the, na the main enemy of the nation of Israel, you so-called white people, you eat them, man. Okay, my boy. Yeah? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Out of Jacob shall come, shall come he that, okay, out of Jacob shall he, shall come he that shall have the dominion. Have dominion, have complete and total control. Let's talk about your Howard Shai, man. Keep on going. And shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. Mm -hmm. And he looked up at Amalek, he took up his parable and said, God. Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perished forever. But his latter end shall be that he perished forever, man. So right there I tell you the the, the future judgment of you so-called white people, man. You will be a possession, you will be in slavery, and after that you will perish forever. You will no longer exist as a people. After your 1,000 years of slavery are done, under the subjection and rule and dominion of your Hava Shem Yahweh and the elect men. Is that a scripture, brother? Yeah, I have to go okay. scripture I mentioned. This is Exodus 17. Um, I'll go straight to the point. Um, verse 16. Where he said, because of because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. You know, you Amalekite represents the chief of the of the of the Edomites, man. You guys are the well, the worst of the Edomites pretty much, because you guys are the, 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 the ones that put up the, the the heritage of the children of Israel, man, which you know you you so-called Jews, you know, you you primarily are the Amalekites, man. You guys are the the fake the fake Jews, you know, those the mm -hmm. that call themselves Jews and are not, man, you yeah. know? Uh, you are Jewish, man, that you are Jew-like, you know, and you can read that, you can read the history of that in that book, The Thirteenth Tribe, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that explains the history of your so-called fake Jews, and it clearly tells you that you are not the descendants of, of Jacob. Uh, you know, you are not, you are not the true descendants, you are not the Israelites mm -hmm. that you claim to be. You know, go ahead, go ahead. it says that pretty much that if they were part of the nation of Israel, they would have to be a there would have to be a thirteen tribe, man. Like there would have to be a whole different other tribe to accommodate these fucking um, these pretenders, man. These fake Jews, man. You know, because they they ain't part of us, man. They have nothing to do with us, you know. To the nation of Israel, man. Look at look how, look at the things they do, man. They fucking um, eat pork, you know. They eat um, what is it called? Um, they have they have kosher pig, oh, huh? they calm, bro. So they have kosher pigs, so that tells you the extreme wickedness that they are in, man. And also, you, the Amalekites, the so-called Jews, they, you know, they're the ones that influence the media. They're the ones that have influence all these world wars. All this has been documented, man. You know, you can read all. You can also read about that in uh, that book, Who Is Esau Edom, which is a hard book to find, but you can find a PDF online, man. You can download that and you can read that. You know, I think that book right now costs like what a thousand dollars or something. You know, so that's that. You know, why? Well, why does a book like that cost a thousand dollars? Why? Because of the of the truth that is revealed with of it, man. And that truth is that you, uh, you Edomites, you Yanakites, you, you so-called white people, you so-called Jews, you are the wicked of the earth. You you are Job nine twenty four, man. Yeah. You know, the earth is given to hand the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, man. Who are the judges? Hey, the judges are are the nation of Israel, man. Yeah. You know, and 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 ultimately. You help our Shem Yahweh Shai is going to sit up and connect men, the, the 144,000, the 12, the 12,000 men each, out of each of the 12 tribes of Israel, he's going to set those up, those men up as judges of the earth, man. You know? Yeah, I want to say something too, you know, because part of, part of how we know that they aren't the Israelites, man, they don't fit the curses. You know, we know that we're the Israelites because the, the curses are, they're a street thumb in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. It, it fits. Perfectly with the the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, mm -hmm. you so-called Amalekites, you guys own, which are you so-called Jews, you know, you guys own pretty much the whole world, man. You guys are everywhere, like the brother was expounding on. Mm -hmm. You guys own all the media, all the gold. You guys own countries, man. Mm -hmm. 
you know. And there's another prophecy in the scriptures that says um, that when the true Jews come in power, man, that there should be no more war in the country, in, in the world, man. Sure. The, the world is, is, is engulfed in war, man. The, um, Apostle Gabar went into that too, that when the nation of Israel, you know, that so-called nation of Israel was set up, and I think the next yeah, day, there was, yeah, there was a war the next day, which was a seven-day war, man. So that just, hey, that was the most I making that happen, man, just to show that these aren't the fucking real, the, the, they're not the real Israelites, man, you know? Come on, man, and then, uh, and, and the scripture was talking about the blasphemy of the of them that say they're Jews and they are not, man. You know, what's that book they got out, uh, the Tamal, what's it called, right? The Tamud. The Tamud, where, 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 <clears throat> where it, tell, it says that the Yahweh, Yahweh Shai was a, some kind of a warlock or something like that? It, in the book of the Talmud, it, Talmud. Tells, you, it tells you that, uh, um, that uh, Jesus, right, because they're not going to tell you the truth yeah. that, uh, about Yahweh Shai, who's a so-called Negro, they, they, they call him Jesus and they portray that white Jesus and they say that he's boiling in excrement, all right, in one part of the Talmud, in another part it also says that he's boiling in, 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 a, in a pot, of, in a cauldron of excrement and semen, all right, it says as he was a product of a uh, that uh, Mary slept with carpenters, which was, you know, deemed as something like beneath our royal family. You know, how could he, how could he have done that? You know, it tells you that that uh, that uh, the rabbis can have uh, sex with women that are possessed with demons. All right, it tells you that uh, um, that they can have sex with uh, little girls, uh, but they have to be uh, the age of three. You know what I mean? And it tells you, it, it tells you, um, there's some real outlandish things that. Uh, I think there's bestiality in there, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of different things that that they they believe that they can do, all right, because they're, they're trying to put a, 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 a holy twist that they're the real Israelites, that they're the real Jews, and they have, like, a, a so-called, uh, quote-unquote, license to do whatever, man, and that, that all the other nations are the Gentiles. So, you know, they, they, flip, the, they flip it, man. They, they flip everything, just like, you know, that's their track record, just like what these devils have always done. They've always flipped Righteousness into wickedness. All right, and, that, and that's what I'm talking about. That's a blasphemy of Jews, man. That's, that's the best that's blasphemy that the scripture's talking about, okay, man. Right here. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Revelation uh, 3 and, and uh, 10 of oh, Salaki 2. Salaki. Come on, bro. This is, uh, this is uh, Revelation 2 and 9. I know that works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Because you know we're rich in faith, man. Huh? All right, and we're, we're, we are impoverished. You know we are uh, poor. You know what I mean? It says, and I know, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Because really, you know they go back to Esau. All right, and Esau is is uh, Satan incarnate, man. You know. Come, man. So that shows the extreme wickedness of of, the, of these of these Jews, these so-called Jews, the Amalekites, man. That shows the extreme wickedness, as 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 shown in the scriptures. You know that that shows the extreme wickedness. That shows why they are the enemies of the Most High. And that shows why they that they are the enemies of the Israelites, man. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is um, Zechariah nine and six, and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Huh? You know, Ashdod is a city in Israel, man. So the the, the people that are, are inhabiting the nation, the, the land of Israel, you know, are are bastards, man. They're they're. They're, that's not the land that they're supposed to, because a bastard, what is a bastard, man? A bastard is someone that doesn't have a father. So these people, they're not the their, their father, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, that's not their father, man. So they're dwelling in the land that doesn't belong to them, man, because the scriptures talk about that the Most High gave that nation as an inheritance, as a promise to Abraham and, and his seed, man. He, he, that was a promise that was given to him that your children shall dwell in this land. You know, that's the, the back um, back in Genesis, that's the, the promise that, he, that the Most High gave to Abraham, man. You know, so that, that's why the scriptures say that a bastard should dwell there, man, because they have the, the Most High is not their father, man. They're 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 um they're heathens, man. You know, those those fucking um, Amalekites, they're, they're the nation of Edom, man. That that's not their inheritance to dwell in our land, man. You know. God, and what did what did uh, uh, Samuel do to the Amalekite king, man? Mm -hmm. What did he do? He 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 ran him into pieces. He cut him into pieces, man. Why? Because it was commanded. Because because the Lord commanded him to do that. You know, so, so the Lord commanded us to be against to be against you so-called Jews, man. The Lord commanded us to be a, to prophesy against you so-called white people, man. Why? Because there there was a perpetual hatred between these two these two groups of people. And that's prophesied in in uh, in, in Genesis, man. 
And the two nations shall, shall come, come out of that woman. One shall be you know, one shall be against the other, man. Two different matter of people. You know, so how how opposite of a people can you get that you know the, the so-called black and two Native Americans and these so-called Native man? You're they're, those are extreme opposites, man. I got it right. Yeah, go ahead, brother. This is uh, Genesis 25, and uh, I'm gonna start at 21. Right. And Isaac entreated the Lord, Yahweh, for his wife because she was barren, and Yahweh was entreated of him, and Rebecca. His wife conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, "If it be so, why am I thus?" Mm -hmm. And she went to inquire of Yahweh, because you know women never think that having a pregnancy that, that, that is a, a, a you know with, with trouble. You know, yeah. women want you know you, mm -hmm. you expect to have a nice pregnancy. It says that Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels." Mm -hmm. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So, uh, you know, those two nations is Jacob and Esau, all right? And in the scriptures, it tells you that Amalek is a, a grandson of Esau, all right? Esau being the Edomite. So these Amalekites, these fake Jews, they're really the so-called white man, all right? And the other nation would be what? Jacob and the 12 tribes. You know, we know that Jacob wrestled with the angel, mm -hmm. and his name was turned to Israel. So... Two nations are separate, and that's why you got the so-called um, the, the hatred between so-called Negroes and the white man, because it was set up like that through, through, through prophecy from the beginning, man, and it tells you that one nation shall be stronger, and, and we are that nation, man, you know, starting with Judah all the way down to Issachar, all right, and then, and then uh, it tells you that, uh, that, that the elder shall serve the younger, so eventually, like, like we were saying, like, you know, they were given the power in this life but they're going to go into captivity, man. They're going to, they're going to be uh, slaves to us in the next kingdom. John, and, and, that, and the scripture probably said that 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 that, that enmity, that that variance, that those those colliding of the, these two people was going to continue on to the last days, man. You know, you can get that. Your brother can give me that second Ezra six and the sixth chapter. Yeah. All right, this is second Ezra six and seven. Mm -hmm. Then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when should or when shall the end so like or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? God, man, so this is a problem. This was meant uh, you know, asking the most high, you know, what, what's gonna happen in these last days? You know, how are we gonna know, you know, the things that are gonna come? Keep on going, brother. All right. Verse seven, verse eight. Um and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born. Connor, we just finished, we just bringing up that scripture about Jacob and Esau, man, how they're going to be two different matter of people. You know, go ahead, brother. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Mm -hmm. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it. So Esau is the end of the world, man, so Esau's going to... Esau's gonna be to the last to the last day till Yahweh Shai come back, man. He's gonna be he's gonna be in rulership. You know, till Yahweh Shai comes to bring the kingdom. The scripture say the new heaven and the new earth. And what did the scripture say right now? Uh, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And Jacob is beginning of it that follows Jacob being you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, man. You're gonna be put back into your power of, of rulership. The Lord's going to put back the fear and dread of you upon all these other nations, man. You know, because that's our rightful place. You know, that's the place that, that that's what the, the, the true intention of your Habashim Yashai has for its people to be rulers, to be the, to be, uh, what does Israel mean, man? Prince of the power. To be princes of the power, man, to have rulership over the heathen nations and, 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 and it's in your so called white people, man. You know, because that, but, but, but in the meantime, we have to go through this captivity. For going off like we did, you know. Give me that scripture, bro. Ezekiel three five twelve. Yeah, and that's gonna. This talks about the perpetual hatred or the or the ongoing hatred that's gonna be between these two different groups of people, man. Keep on going. Uh, yeah. Ezekiel three five twelve. Thou shalt know that I I am the Most High, and that I have that I have heard all the blasphemy which that has that has spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying that they. Fuck it. They are laid lay desolate. They are given up uh, to consume. Yeah, go ahead. Thus with uh, your mouth, you have boasted against me, and had the multitude your words against what well, well, to you well, well, your words against me, well, to you, your words against me, I have heard them. 
Yeah. I thought I started on five. Five? Yeah. Because that had, had a perverse, perpetual, perpetual hatred. It has shed the blood. Shed the blood of the children of Israel. Yeah, it's talking about, uh, you're talking about your so-called white people, man, that perpetual hatred, that hatred is going to continue on to the last days. We started with back in Genesis, the 25th chapter, man. There's always been a perpetual hatred between these two different manners of people, between these two different nations, between your so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. And, and, and you eat them like your so-called white people, man. And if I could add to that too, bro, because that goes back to the book of Genesis that we brought up, man, where, you know, Yaakov, Jacob, which means Yaakov, man, we, we um, what, what does Yaakov mean, brother? Uh, supplanted. Supplanted. We supplanted that, that, um, that, that, that birthright and that, and that, um, the birthright and the, the blessing mm -hmm. off Esau, man. So the most, hey, the most, uh, he created that whole drama, bro, because it was all through the spirit. It was set up to the spirit that we had to take that birthright so that Esau, you know, because the scriptures say that he lamented that he wept with his father to give him a birth, a birthright, right? Mm -hmm. So what Esau wanted to do to Jacob, man, he wanted to kill him mm -hmm. to the point that Jacob had to flee to another town mm -hmm. and, and flee away from Esau, man, because that hate that Esau felt for, for Jacob because of he, he realized the whole the beauty of that blessing that Jacob gave upon Jacob and, and um. And Isaac gave up on Jacob, Salakia, and that's that perpetual hatred that he has for us, man, because he's still trying to get that birthright back, but he ain't going to get it back, man. Hey, what was that beetle, the, some little ah, kid really. came, man, and he was say, what kind of, whatever I can do, Jesus, to get my birthright. <laughs> yeah. What, you know what I'm saying, man? So that, hey, that just shows you right there, man. <laughs> that shows you right there. And what does the scripture say? Don't we saw that with many tears, man. Though we saw that with many tears, you know, there was no place of repentance, man. But there was no place of repentance for you so-called white people, man. There was no salvation for you. You know, what is it in the Zonda Event Bible Dictionary where it says uh, Esau Edom is, 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 the, is the people of, of great future judgment. Yeah. And, there, and there, there is no place of repentance for them, man. There is no hope for you, in other words. Yeah. You know, so that's why the apostles always tell these white people, hey, live it up, go max out your credit card and, and so on and so forth, man, because, hey, this is your kingdom. You know, hey, you, you shit all over it. You know, all you do is bring wickedness, waste, and destruction. You know, and, and, and the most I hate you, man. Why, you know, and that's in the scriptures, believe it or not, man. You, you know, majority of people, they can't believe that the scriptures say these things. Why? Because one thing, they never look inside the scriptures, they never read the scriptures. Look, the scriptures not for them. You know, what does the scripture say? You know, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, man. So Jacob, the nation of Israel, the Lord has loved, and Esau, you so-called white people, he has hated. Was an extreme hatred, man. Was an extreme hatred because at the end of the day, you know, you're just gonna be exterminated, man. Keep on going with that Ezekiel, we start to back it up. That word you were. Huh. The children of Israel by by the force of the sword, the time of the start of back of five. From the beginning? Yes, verse five, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because thou had perpetual hatred and and has shed the blood of, shed the blood of the, the children of Israel. By the force of the sword. By the force of the sword, and that's Esau's blessing, man. That's the blessing that he that, that he got. You know, he, he said that he was gonna be uh he, he was gonna attain his glory by the sword, man. You know, and also and also it says in the book of Psalms that that Esau is the Lord's uh, sword or tool that he uses for punishment upon the you so called black Latinos and Native Americans, man. And the and these things are hard for the average person to 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 conceive in his mind, man. You know, these things are, are, are hard to understand. Like, all oh, the, how could the Lord hate people? I thought the Lord loves everybody. You know what who teaches that? You so-called white people teach that, man. Because, because that's the God that you created, that sees a portrait, that, that Jesus Christ, that false God, man. That's the God that you worship. You worship what you know not, but we know what we worship, man. We worship the true power, man, because we worship him in spirit and in truth. And that's why brothers are out there that are already hedging because this thing can only can be done in spirit and in truth, man. There's no other way that, that so-called black Latinos and Native Americans are going to, are going to have the diligence and the spirit to go out there week after week and prophesy against more serious unless the, the spirit of the Lord was upon them, man. If I, may say, ahead, bro. if I may add to what you just said, brother, you know what? And, and, and that's the cunningness of this damn devil, man. That's what we call Esau, the so-called white man. That's what we call him the devil. Because what he did was he stole an identity, all right? He, he, he'll go as far, you know, and proclaim a, a nation that is not even his when he really hates us, man. 
You know what I mean? He hates Israel, but he'll still put his face up as the prophets, put his face up as 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 the children of the Lord, put up uh, the Messiah as as his color. Okay, but and, and, and try to act like a, a Jew. And in reality, he's all about death and destruction, man. Mm -hmm. and, and he knows that his father is Satan. That's how that's how cunning this damn devil really is, man. He'll go, he'll go, he'll play the whole role to the end. He, he's not going to tell nobody the truth, man. He's not going to tell the world. Uh, he's not going to tell you, Jake, that you're Israelites, man. He ain't going to do it because that's what a devil does, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 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 I want to get the verse that you were mentioning. Mm -hmm. All right, this is quick. This is Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Which is thy sword, man. So you so-called white people, you are the sword of the most high, man. Continue on that 14 verse. Go ahead. Let me get that. This is verse 14. Um, from men which are thy hand, O Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. John, so what does what the scripture say uh, before that? Start, start again. 14, what it was? 13. 13. This is Psalms 17 and 13. Mm -hmm. Which men over thy hand with the poor. Arise, O Lord. Oh, so I'll start again. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Mm -hmm. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. God, so so so, so this is this that's what's our song of David, right? You can't, you can't. So the so David's asking the Lord to uh to disappoint man to 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 go to bring his, to bring him down, to bring his so-called white man down, man, because David was a prophet. And he and, and, and he knew through the spirit that these devils were gonna come into power. You know, then David killed a lot of you a lot of Edomites, man. You know, they, David killed, killed a, a lot of, a lot of, they, the scriptures say he killed tens of thousands of men. You know, and, and the scriptures say that the, that the wicked is his sword, man, and, and the wicked is, 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 is uh, what is that one of the scripture? Keep on going. From men, this is Psalm 17 and 14, from men which are thy hand. Which are all thy hand. So the Lord uses men, the Lord uses other people, you know, to do his bidding, man. What, is, what, what happened in the book of Job when the Lord gave a, a, a so called, a late Lord gave Satan, uh, power to to bring uh to bring hell on Job. He used other people, you know, to destroy his uh his crops, to destroy to to kill his children, you know. And so he so the Lord uses you know these other people you know, as wick for wickedness, man. And that's what he did with so called white people. He uses he using you for wickedness, man. Because you are the wicked of the earth. He created you for wickedness. That's why you have to be destroyed because the Lord is a righteous power, you know. So so he has to just. No, he creates and he creates the evil and the good. The scripture says so. He has to destroy you. He has to destroy you, so-called white people, because you are the wicked of the earth, man. You no, know, keep on going with that. Uh, the Ezekiel huh. by the force of the sword, for the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time that, that their iniquity has call, ended. Call it out. Hmm? Yeah, call it out. The verse. Huh. Verse five. Because thou had perpetual hatred, mm -hmm. and it has shed the blood of. For the children of the children of Israel, mm -hmm. by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquity, had ended. Keep on going. Therefore, as I live, saith the Most High. Wow. Therefore, as I live, saith the Most High, man. Yeah. So, so look, that's a powerful statement right there. That's the Most High said. Therefore, as I live, <laughs> this is just, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. That's power right there, man. That, that's the Lord saying. This is for certain gonna be done. No ifs, ands, or, or buts about it. Keep on going. By the most high power, I will prepare thee unto blood. So you so-called white people, you eat them like you have a kind, you, so, you fake Jews, you are prepared unto blood, man. You you are the wicked set up for the day of evil. Keep on going. And blood shall pursue thee. Mm -hmm. Since thou hast, hast hit, not hit, hit, thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Come, keep on going. That's all make Mount Seir most desolate. I will make Mount Seir most desolate. That word desolate means what? Total, complete destruction. Total, complete waste, man. Total, complete vengeance. Annihilation, like the brother said. That's a good word. Annihilation. Annihilation is complete destruction, man. Ain't gonna be nothing left. Keep on going. So, like the brother, I go ahead, man. Say real quick. You know, since thou hast not hated blood, man, you know, it's been coming out that these Edomites, they drink blood, man. Mm -hmm. They're drinking blood to, uh, so-called um, 
like get younger so they don't grow older, man. So you 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 you, uh, you Edomites are, are are stuck in a in a, in a real crazy world, and, and they 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 do very uh, sinister things, man. They, yeah. You know all types of orgies and, 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 and sacrifice babies. You know they, mm -hmm. you know uh, so called Alex Jones, man. You know blew the top off of the Bohemian Grove where they they were sacrificing a baby to the to the to the ancient uh, Molech. All right, There's, and that's spoken up in the scripture. Yeah. So this is. You know, you got the righteous that are being reincarnated, and to their not, you got these wicked, the, the wicked of the world, which is what is Esau, man, the so-called white man. Hey, the most wicked, fucking, um, the most wicked spirits are living in the planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all a balance, bro. You know, you can't have the most, you know, because the, the elect are living right here in the planet Earth, man, because the elect are the prophets, man. So you can't really have the the that that um righteous vibration, that strong righteous vibration, without having that really, really fucking wicked dark on um, dark vibration, man. It's all balancing each other out, man, because that's what we do. You know, we, we represent Yahweh Hashem Shai, and they represent darkness and, and, and Satan, man. You know, that, 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 that wicked spirit of Satan, man, is on, it's heavy on the planet Earth, man. And, and the men of the Lord, you know, the, 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 the hopeful elect, man, which we represent, man, balance that out, man, because that's the vibration that we push out every weekend and through these videos. You know, we, we balance everything out, man. We balance out the, the, the mass... Um, the mass wickedness that's going on around the planet Earth, man, you know? God, man, and, 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 and uh, like the brother said, man, there, there's this balance of extreme wickedness and so-called devil. And yeah, that's really self-evident, the way that his society is is, the, the, is going. Where is, where, where is his whole system, where is his whole society going? It, you know, it's already going into fucking perversion. Was he fucking transgenders and homosexuals and lesbians and whatnot? Man, that's extreme perversion right there, man. That's a lustful, carnal perversion. It's already going to the ship, you know, the RFID ship, and what's that, man? That's 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 extreme control over the people. You're pretty much a fucking product, man. You know, and and the majority of you, you Jakes, you know, you so-called Black and Latino Native Americans, you love all that shit, man. You know, you love Donald Donald is white, man. You love the things that he produces. You love the folly and the entertainment, the bread and circus that he gives you. You know, and that's why the Lord has to destroy also you two thirds. You so-called black and team of the Native Americans, man. Right? I got something real quick. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of John 3 and um, uh, 19. It says that this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. God. And men love darkness rather than light. Jeez. When Yahweh Shai came on the scene, you know, uh, you know, it was made evident that there was that, 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 that there was Israelites they mm -hmm. love darkness, man. All right? Rather than light because their deeds were evil. And that's what you see, man, like, that's when you see when you're around the population, wherever you go, when you're not around the brotherhood, you can feel the vibration, man. You can feel, um, you know, how much people are ungodly, how much they they, they, they laugh mm -hmm. because the damn devil, Esau, he made um, anything that has to do with God, so-called God and Jesus Christ, right? Well, we know their names in the Hebrews, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, that it's a light thing. It's to be made, made fun of, it's mockery. They pushing that vibration, man. Why? Because their deeds are evil. They love that darkness. The people in this society, they love the wickedness, man. It says, it says, for everyone that doeth evil hated the light. Neither come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And that's the thing, man. You have to come to the light. And if you don't, it's because you hate the light. It says, but he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, mm -hmm. that they are right in the most high. You know what I mean? And then it's, it's a battle. And it's a battle, man. It's a, it's a, you know, Paul said it, man. So we wrestle against, uh, wrestle not against flesh and blood, flesh and blood yeah. but we wrestle against uh, yeah, so wicked, is, uh, yeah. wickedness in high places, uh, or uh, principalities, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, and the wickedness of the rulers in high places. So you really, you're really dealing with spirits out here. You're really dealing and fighting uh, a temptation in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And you're really, we're breaking strongholds of these goddamn Edomites, what they're doing, what they've done to our people, man, how they've enslaved our people and totally uh, brainwashed them, man. God, right. man, and, you know, that's a spiritual warfare that the scriptures are talking about, man. And that's why the scriptures are likened to a sword, that, that a two-way sword. You know, in the scripture, in the scripture that says that a two-way sword came out of your house, and mouth, and that two-way sword is the word, man, because it cuts. And that's exactly what, was, what this word does to you devils, you so-called white people, man, it cuts you. That's why that's why you you are so eager to try to debunk uh, GMS and the doctor that 100% doctor GMS, but you can't do it, man. You can't do it. 
You know, so it puts you in panic mode. You know, you this because this this truth can't be ignored anymore. You know, this truth is, is, as God he saw is so-called white people butt hurt, man. You know, and that's why you turn to your your vocab colognes and, and and all this other shit because you know you're trying to say it, it, to show us that it's not real. It can't be true, but it is true, man. It is true. The so-called blacks, the Native Americans, they are the children of Israel. And you and you and you Edomites, you so-called white people, you are you are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. It's true whether you, you know whether you want to believe it or not, man. You know, what if some beliefs, you know, what does scripture say? What if some beliefs should I make the truth of no effect when he paraphrased No, it will not, because the scriptures say so, man. Because it's, because it's in the scriptures. And that's what we go by. We go by the 100% truth, the 100% doctrine of the scriptures, man. Which was given to the men of GMS, that's from uh, Apostle Tahar, talk, Apostle of Gabar, Apostle of Damla, Apostle of Calm Down, to, to, the, to, the, to the smallest brother in GMS, man. He has given this, you know, he has given this, 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 he is fully equipped to fight the spiritual battle, man. You know, because we are taught what to do. We are taught how to you know, to bring out this word. We are, we are taught and instructed to set a face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, man. That's something, bro. I got something, bro. Right, this is um, Jeremiah 49 and 7, you know, prophecy against Edom. Okay. Concerning Edom, thus say, thus say Yahweh of hosts, in his wisdom no more in Teman, his counsel perish from the prudent, is their wisdom banish? Be ye turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Eden, for I will bring calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. If great gatherers come to thee, will they not leave some grapes? So will they not will they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night they will destroy till they had enough. You know, that's just the most high making a mockery of these so-called Edomites, man, because the you guys are a complete opposite of the scripture, man. You guys will steal to hey man you you guys will steal and steal one more man you know you'll take everything from that one person and you steal one more man you know okay God. so um okay verse 10 but i have made esau bear you know the part of okay i'll keep reading i have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not you know part of him being uncovered man with the most high you know, putting the prophets out there, you know, the Most High is revealing all his secrets, you know, his pedophilia, his, just his whole way of being, man, his whole way of being is, is in dark wickedness, man. You know, he did a good job for many years in covering up his, his wickedness, his, his vile soul that he has in him, man, because it's soon, he's a very wicked man, you know, but to the Spirit, the Most High, we're in those times that this devil is being revealed to who he really is, man. Yeah. So the whole planet Earth, you know, all the nations know that this devil is a, a, a pedophile, a liar, a stealer, a murderer, a thief. You know, he, he everything that that everything that wicked, wickedness represents it is rolled up in a fucking eater, my man. That, that's what you fucking white people are, man. You guys are a bunch of fucking wicked fucking people, man. You know? So I'm going to keep finishing this up, bro. Verse 11. Leave thy father, leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. Verse twelve. For thus say Yahweh: Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely drunken. You know that represents the Israelites, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because of the, the captivity that we're going to, according to Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter, man. If you read that that, that that whole chapter, man, it describes the blessings that we that that we're you know, by by right, they're serving them, man. That's that's that that's what the Most High promised us. You know, but He also said that if you if you turn from the law, that He should put curses on them, and those curses were reserved for the Edomites, for the the heathen nation, man. We're not supposed to be going through this shit that we're going through, man. The only reason that we're going through it is because we went off, uh, we went off, and we 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 cursed our power, man. We cursed you, Hashemosh, by doing wickedness, man, by by following after these fucking heathens. Okay, so it reads. Uh, for thus said the Lord, Behold, the day whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished. Thou shalt surely drink of it. You know, so that scripture's talking about it, man. Hey, man, you fucking Edomites are going to get it, bro. You know, you fucking Edomites are going to go through it, man. And it's all in righteousness, man. The Most High is making, it's building that type on you. You know, you go to a bar, you drink, you know, you, you get yourself feeling good. Hey, that tab builds up, man. Yeah. And 
the more fun you have, the tired, the higher the tap is. You fucking need much are having fun right now, man. Yeah. Having the children, the, the, the strongest, the, the 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 apple, the most highest eye on captivity, man. You motherfuckers are having fun, man. You know, you guys are laughing at the captivity that we're going through at. You know? Hey man, so that tap is getting higher and higher, man. That tap is really hot right now. Hey, the most high is gonna come. Hey, hey, he's gonna come gather. He's gonna come and get everything, man. He's gonna charge you interest and whatnot, man. Uh-huh. So you guys, you motherfuckers, are, hey man, you motherfuckers are gonna get it, man. You guys are gonna get it. You know? Uh, you're gonna have to pay double payment back to the Lord, man, for the shit that you've done. You know, the Lord is not gonna get that you get away with with uh, a statement of the so-called black man. You're not going to let you get away with the, the genocide of your so-called Native American. You know, he's not going to let you get away with none of that, man. Why? Because he's a righteous and true power. You know, and, 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 and there's not going to be no, no forgiveness for your sins, man. For the food of, for the food of your ways. For your greedy and gluttonous, perverse, fucking wicked, fucking ways that you, that you put upon this earth, man. You know, and the scripture says that you are going to be revealed in the last times. And that's what we're doing, man. We out there, we're revealing the son of perdition, man. According to Second Thessalonians, give me that. Yeah. Second Thessalonians two three. Let no man let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall come, shall not come, except there's they're coming falling away first. And there has been a falling away, man. A falling away of of of, 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 of number yeah. one, our ways, our ways shall fall away. Our true heritage is falling away, for the Lord is giving us that back. But what else is falling away, man? This society, Esau's wicked society is falling away. It's a tyranny little by little. And right now we're in the midst of a, of a so-called government shutdown. You know, because why? Because they don't know what the fuck to do at the border. You know, you know what they do, but you know, they're, they're playing some crafty slight tricks, man. You know, and that, and that, 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 that's further proof of, of the decay of Esau's society. Keep on going. And the man of sin shall be, man of, man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. The son of perdition, man. You know, the, the let me let me get that uh, the Greek the perdition real quick. Let's see what it says here. It says uh yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say the back of the brother was saying before about, about Edom and they didn't pay for every, for everything. And it's this um Joel three three nineteen. Go ahead. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness Ooh, for their violence against the children of Judah because it went because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Ah, huh, man, well that back. Huh. Egypt shall be a de- shall be a desolation. And Egypt is right here. Egypt means means bondage. Like the brothers going on, we are in we are in captivity, man. So we are in the place of bondage. That's talking about right here. And, you know, cause 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 you gotta remember, man, that these scriptures they could be two, threefold, you know, meaning, man. You know, so but only if you have that wisdom and understanding. And, and you have that, that, that truth be revealed to you, and the Lord, the Lord is dealing with you, the Holy Spirit is dealing with you, understand these things, then you will know, keep on going. And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the, for the violence against the children of Judah. And Edom, you so-called white people, shall be a uh, desolate wilderness. America shall be a desolate wilderness. How? How? By, by nuclear destruction, man. Go ahead. Because they have shed innocent blood in your land. Because they have shed innocent blood in your land. So, Who's that innocent blood? Well, that's talking about your so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans, man. You know, be, because they, they, they did a, a real number on you, on, on our people, man. Like the brothers going into it, they, they're going to have to pay with interest. You know, you got something? Come. This is the, uh, the book of Psalm 73. <clears throat> Let me get a couple verses. It says, but as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Going back to what the brother was saying, man, these these devils, man, you know, there's there's accounts of them that they've been rich since like forever. You know what I mean? They they, they got the gold, they got the gold uh, just stashed away in, in, in vaults. You know, they got uh, crowns of, of jewels. You know, they own lands. You know, brothers always bring it out that. They don't even walk on the ground. You know, they, they actually travel by the air. You know what I mean? From rooftop to rooftop because they, they you know, they're, they're, they're like so-called gods of this earth. Well, the scriptures tell you, man, Job 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Mm-hmm. So they, they rule the whole earth. It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. All right. They're, they're prideful, man. You know, they, they, they flaunt it. This is violence covered them as a garment. 
their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They're corrupt. And when it comes to slavery, when it comes to, you know, uh, you know, uh, the, what is that? Uh, the 40 acres in the mule, you know, reparations. You know, they make jokes, you know, but they're never going to give us nothing, man. What, what, do we, what do you got? You got uh, um, fellows that lost it, Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying? Corn the cop <laughs> you know? You got him um, uh, trying to build a wall for you so called Hispanics, man, to keep you out or really to keep you, you Americans in when that martial law comes. Mm -hmm. It says, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. So they set their mouth against the heavens. They, they talk bad about the Lord, about the angels. You know, they make mockery of these children Disney movies of Moses and, and the Prince of Egypt and, 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 and you know, the Ten Commandments and, and, and Noah, all right, where they had those black figures in the movie. Like, what does that have to do with what really happened? You know, they, they, they speak loftily. You know, their, their tongues walking through the earth. They just lie through everything. You know what I'm saying? They have a deceitful tongue. They can never tell you a straight answer. They got to tell you, you know, they use their crafty words. They got like a million words just to say it's hot. You know, things of that, like that. It says, it says, therefore, his people return hither. The waters of a full cup are wrung out. To them, it says, skip down 12, 12 verse, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. They're ungodly because they got riches, man. You know, the scriptures tell you, hey, how barely that a rich man can make it into the kingdom of heaven. And you got Jake bowing down to these goddamn devils just for just for some money, man. So these guys, they got more than they can they they, they can have. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't ever have to worry. Their kids don't ever have to worry about anything, man. They, they, they got their children set up. And that's part of the blessing, though, you know, that's part of the blessing, you know, that, that Isaac gave him, you know, that, that dwelling should be the fatness of the earth, you know, by, by violence, that shall rule, you know, so it's, it's, it's all being fulfilled, man, you know, you, you Edomites are living it up right now, because that's, that, that was your, that's your lot that to fulfill right now, man, you know, hey, man, but once in the kingdom, man, hey, man, hey, that shit, you, you guys are going to be, be brought back to that, that, that simple tense state that you guys Belonging, man. You know, you guys are gonna be fucking beast, man. man. You know, you're gonna be a fucking Neanderthal. You know, you guys like researching all kinds of shit, man. Well, you guys are gonna be back in that state that you guys love researching so much. That missing link, man. You know, you motherfuckers are going back to a very dire state, man. A very lowly state. Mm -hmm. You know, like Joe described you guys, man. That you guys will, you know, uh, 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 that's how you guys were talking yeah, shit, yeah. man. You know, you guys are going back to that type of state, man. But you guys. You know, that's your inheritance, man. That's where you guys belong, man. You guys don't, you guys have no place in ruling any type of society, man. Because every type, any type of society that you guys rule is in, is engrossed in wickedness, in, in lies, in, in, in all kinds of bullshit, man. Homosexuality. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you eat on my represent, man. You guys shouldn't be ruling, man. They're, they're, you know, the only people in, that really should be ruling the planet Earth are the Israelites, man. You know, because we're the only ones that really truly care for this planet, you know, because this, this planet is ours, man. Yahweh Hashem Shai gave it to primarily his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, but we're joint heirs with him. So this whole planet belongs to us, man, and you guys are destroying it, man, you know, because of the simpleton, simpletons that you guys are, man, you know. Come, man, like the brother said, the only one that should be ruling is so-called black team, the team of the American Israelites. Why? Because we were given the law, statutes, and commandments to rule and govern, man. The Most High gave us law, statutes, commandments to rule and govern. He didn't give it to the other nations. He didn't, especially didn't give it to you fucking Edomites. Those, those, those laws, those ways of governing, those ways of doing things, those, those ways of money to show, so to speak, that, that's in the scriptures, was only given to the nation of Israel. Therefore, those, therefore, since these laws, these statutes, commandments were given to our people, the, the Israelites, it is only right for them that they, they govern with those laws, that they govern the earth, man. And that's gonna happen very soon. Faster than what faster than you think, man. You know, you, hey, we're talking right now. Before you know it, man, the hey, time is passing. As you can see the Lord's gonna show in the day for the next day. So before you know it, you so-called white people, you're gonna find yourself in slavery. Yeah. You know, they know that's just what it is. You know, you so 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 yeah, you you're gonna you're gonna you you are gonna blink. And you're going to be in slavery in the next second, man. It's going to happen that fast. You know, you might think that it's not coming, but it's coming, man. Why? Because we believe these scriptures. So pretty soon that your slavery is coming. Pretty soon your desolation and destruction is coming, man. 
You know, so so hey, like like the apostle would say, go live it up, man. Go live it up. You know. That's and you know, but doesn't it say in the book of Job that, that they're gonna be like a dream? Yeah, it's gonna be like a dream. Yeah, it's gonna be like a dream. Like everything that they've done to this world and to us, it's gonna be like a bad dream. Man. Yeah, it's gonna they, they, they just you know, like a man that tarries one night and then he leaves the next day, like Yeah, it's gonna happen that fast, man. It's gonna be like like whoa, you know. We're we're back, you know. We're and back in our power. We're gonna have it so good in the kingdom that like, hey, this shit's gonna be it ain't gonna be shit, bro, you know what I mean? It, it seems like it is right now, you know, because the scriptures talk about the Terry away for it, you know, because it should surely come, man. Hey, surely our come. Come. And our salvation is coming, bro. It, it, it's in us way. You know, yeah, how was I? He's just waiting for the green light to come, to come bring havoc upon the place, uh, upon this place and deliver his elect, man. But we know that prophecy has to be fulfilled. The most high is a man that he shall not lie, man. So all the prophecies have to be fulfilled. And we see that, man. You know, we were, we're in that time, we're in that time and place. Where the prophecies are being fulfilled and, and Yahweh is on his way, man. You know, we're almost out this bitch, man. We're almost out this bitch, and we just gotta endure, you know, do our part, study, mm -hmm. pray, fast, you know, and keep fighting, man. Keep fighting that good faith, that good fight of faith, man, you know. God, that's what we're God, so in the meantime, we're gonna continue to to set our face against Mount Seir and prophesy against him, man. We're gonna continue to to hold our faith and hold and hold fast with that which the thing that we have learned. You know, we're going to continue to endure and sacrifice and, and do whatever we got to do to be in this truth, man. You know, most I wouldn't we be those elect men. You know, with that, man, I hope the lesson was edifying. And once say, uh, rock it to your house. 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 R